Joining us today is Dr. Karen Campbell, an RN PhD who's currently is the field leader for the Masters of Clinical Science in Wound Healing at Western University. Welcome to what she said. Thank you. Well, you're here to discuss the sandwich generation and aging parents, what Gen Xers need to know. Um, and according to Stats Canada, more than 2 million Canadians are part of the sandwich generation. That's me. Um, so for people that may not know exactly what that is, explain it. So the Sanders generation is when you're taking care of your elderly parents and you have young children at home. Although I'm a healthcare professional, I've personally lived that experience with three parents. Mm -hmm. As did I. Yes, it's yeah. stressful. It one is? with a stroke, one dying of cancer, and kids that are five. I guess. I had a two-year-old and my mother dying of cancer, working all day and going to care for her at night. Mm -hmm. And talk about caregiver stress. Caring for elderly parents is, is daunting, it's overwhelming, uh, lots of things to consider, where to go for help, and even if you mm -hmm. can afford to have care in their home, you still have to manage it all. That's right. And you're constantly advocating for your family member with the health care system. Uh, we have a great health care system in Ontario, but you have to be on top of their care and you constantly have to advocate so that they get the right care. And, and, I, and I've noticed that with my family that there's some kinds in various stages of dementia, people, the patient, can't often tell you what exactly is wrong because they can't find the words. That's right. That's right. And so uh, having been a geriatric events practice nurse, often geriatric patients t express their discomfort mm -hmm. in more behavioral ways. So they may get more confused. They may act differently. And you're constantly trying to figure out what the heck's going wrong. Mm. And sometimes uh, I think you would agree you, you need a specific uh, skill set to deal with a specific problem, and most of us don't have it. Now, you right. do. Right. Your your expertise is in skin care, which is a big issue. Right. Which most of us don't know how to deal with. Exactly. And, you know, your skin is one of your lar largest organs, but it's often forgotten as we focus on brains and strokes, which are all important. But keeping your skin intact is so important because when you lose that skin integrity, you have increased risk for infection. You can have issues with uh, skin tears. You can have issues with pressure injuries or pressure sores. Uh, a very common problem is urinary incontinence, especially in the elderly. Mm. And an area uh, that I have focused on is incontinence-associated dermatitis. Now, in the elderly, we call it by that name, but when you're dealing with children... I was going to say, it sounds like diaper rash. It's diaper rash. Wow. Okay. <laughs> right. And yeah. if you think of people in long-term care, almost 70% of them have incontinence. And so, uh, and if you're at home and you're not able to change uh, their uh, briefs, you can get a rash, you can have a lot of pain, but fortunately, if you have the knowledge, this can be um, prevented. You know, it's, it's interesting that you say that because m when my father was ill, we had somebody looking after him, and I don't think the subject of skin care skin ever care. came up. Yeah, I, I was going to say, what else can happen? I mean, you explained, you explained this, this right. aspect, but, but what else should you be looking for? So, for, skin? for example, a very uh, common thing that you can do for your family member is to put moisturizer on twice a day. It'll keep the skin intact and help prevent things like skin tears. If you make sure that they're eating and drinking well, it will help keep their skin healthy. Uh, try to toilet them to prevent uh, incontinence-associated dermatitis. For example, example, when my family member was ill, I used a, a product from 3M called Cavalon, and the person was able to clean themselves, and I was able to clean them as well and give an extra protection layer to their skin. Other issues are things like um, pressure injuries, quite common uh, in the like elderly. like a bed sore? We bed yes. sore. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. And yes. that's what my father had, a special bed. Uh, that they had for that that sort of rolled or vibrated. Right. It almost had like water in it. But I mean, I didn't know anything at the time right. about any special skin products that would have helped them. 
Absolutely. So protecting the skin, turning people, Mm -hmm. using a special bed, using things like pillows even to keep people comfortable. Mm -hmm. Uh, Because often um, if you're not comfortable uh, and you're you're elderly, it it can, you know, result in problems with the skin and and you can have more pain. So positioning um, uh, special chairs uh, that make the person more more comfortable. All of these things... um, um, you know, can help your family member. Nutrition, so important to skin health as well. What are the thing, the top foods that people should be eating for good skin care? Well, fluids, so making mm-hmm. sure they're getting enough fluids. And if, if, if a person doesn't have another uh, medical condition like mm-hmm. liver or uh, kidneys, protein. Um, and, you know, when in doubt, ask your uh, family doctor to refer you to a uh, registered dietitian who can look at your health issues and can look at kind of recommendations for what you should be eating. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, again, simple things. So things like, you know, moisturizer, for example, using Cavalon, things like eating and drinking, moving, not difficult, not hard, uh, but so important uh, when you're the caregiver. Um, but the other point I wanted to make, too, is caregiver stress. And that's what I was just going to ask you about. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you, if you give out, if you just get hit a wall then they end up suffering. And usually there's a crisis. And personally, what I found is that you don't want to admit that you need help, but you need help. Whether it's, you know, family members, friends. Uh, I know when I was caring for my mother, I had a whole list of people that would help me out uh, when I had to be away. Um, And uh, because if you don't, you're right. Things come to a crisis and you may not be able to to care for that person at home. Uh, And so taking care of yourself, whether it's, you know, going for a walk. I like walking in nature going to a yoga class, getting help, taking, you know, an evening off, but, you know, taking care of yourself as well, especially when you have a young family. So you're getting pulled in 47 directions. And this Mm -hmm. is only going to become more and more the case as our population ages. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I've actually started to think about this for my own daughters who uh, I'm I'm still young and healthy, but, you know, in 20 years, they're going to be caring for me. So I'm like, I've been talking to them about what I want and, you know, what I don't want. So uh, you need to plan for the future. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Now, um, f- feet. I have also understand oh. that feet are something we should really be keeping an eye on. Absolutely. As you know, especially if you're diabetic mm-hmm. uh, and you have neuropathy, you can develop um, potentially uh, diabetic foot ulcers. Uh, and so making sure that you moisturize feet, making sure that you are seen by somebody who, who can actually assess your footwear. So is that product, the Cavalon, is that is that just to moisturize or is it a system that you can use for cleaning as well? They actually have a, a product that can um, that can cleanse and it leaves a mild barrier on the skin so that you do two things with one product and then they have a moisturizer as well and they have various levels of uh, moisturization uh, that you can use um, the other thing with diabetic um, foot ulcers is that you need to be assessed to see if you have a, um, a change in the shape of your foot because you right. may need different footwear so, but this, 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 these, these products can help the skin everywhere Abs- on your body. Absolutely so is, everywhere. Where do you get them? Actually, they can be uh, purchased on, on Amazon. Oh, really? <laughs> and for the sandwich generation, I, I, I have no stock in Amazon. For the sandwich generation, that's, that's simple. Yes. As well as any home health store. So, it may not be available in a regular drugstore, but any home health store. And where can caregivers do go to ensure they have all the best, most reliable information and guidance at their fingertips? Well, Health Canada mm-hmm. um, is one site. They can also go to their local Lynn um, um, website and then search under uh, geriatrics and aging to see mm-hmm. what services are uh, available. They can talk to their local doctor mm-hmm. uh, and see what's available. For continence issues, the Canadian Continence Foundation is a great source of information. So it has lists of of uh, experts that are available, as well as access to uh, programs. 
That's great. Well, we are going to um, put up a link and we're going to get all this information from you in, in, from, into a blog on our website. But thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. This is What She Said. We'll be right back. What she said. She's magical, mystical, or a powerful. 